We're just two days away from March, and of course, that means playoff and championship basketball is right around the corner. The Odessa College men and women's teams have both spent the majority of the year in the national rankings and on track for a national tournament appearance. I sat down exclusively with both teams as they chase a championship. <laughs> Odessa College Athletics has a storied past of winning championships, and the goal this year on the basketball court is no different. Well, here it's not about winning conference championships or reason, it's, it's about winning hanging national championship banners. And for the first time in five years, both Wrangler basketball programs have the opportunity to do just that in the same season. Since November 20th, both Wrangler squads have been in the national top 25, and both teams have been in the conversation for a conference title. For the Lady Wranglers, there's a sense of redemption. Reminders of the championship teams from Odessa's past are plastered around the locker room with hopes to inspire the current team to get back to the mountaintop. It's something that I truly try to get them to visualize and everything that we do is a visualization of who we want to become and the team that we want to become. If you can see it, then you can achieve it. And if you can achieve it, then it's something that's believable in you, then you can, you're can you going to achieve it. Wyoming. Wyoming, the site of the NJCAA Women's National Tournament this year is always on the minds of the Lady Wranglers. So our main thing from the beginning was focus on Wyoming, focus N not specifically on Wyoming, but focus on the process that is going to lead us to Wyoming. We talk about, you know, uh, where we're headed, and we say Wyoming after everything that we do. Um, you know, we know it's 942 miles to Wyoming from Odessa. While the women have their sights set on the mountains, all roads lead to Hutchinson, Kansas for the men, a place the Wranglers and Coach Bucket are very familiar with. <laughs> OC has 12 all-time national tournament appearances, and the Wranglers seemed bound for a run at the program's first ever national title last season, but that run was cut short in the Elite Eight for the second year in a row. You know, we played really four or five bad minutes of basketball at the end of that game, and otherwise I think we could have won a national championship. Brandon Macklin was one of only two returners from last year's Elite Eight team, and he hopes this current squad can finish the job that he feels was left unfinished. We feel like that we didn't finish the job last year. We feel like we had a great chance to win it last year, and we feel like we got a good chance to win it this year. That push toward a tournament run starts in two weeks with the region tournament. The champions from each region get an automatic bid, and while there are a handful of at-large bids, Coach Bucket doesn't want to leave it up to chance. I feel I still think we've got a chance to get an at-large, but our goal with this team is to win the regional tournament. The likelihood of both the OC men and women making it to the dance is high, but will we see either or both cutting down nets? That still remains to be seen, but one thing is certain, and that's the Wranglers' hunger and drive to get there. It's been, it's been about preparing for the national tournament and region tournament all year long. I still I still think our best basketball is out in front of us. I really do. I think, I think we're going to play our best basketball when we need to in the regional tournament, and then hopefully that you know that propels us in the national tournament, where you know it's the best teams in the country. Both OC basketball teams have just two games left in the regular season. After that, both teams will go to Weatherford for the Region 5 tournament starting two weeks from today. You can see the Wranglers at home one last time this season tomorrow as they host Howard College. That's a look at sports.